just um, showing my gra I have three garages um, or three uh, apartments not well two apartments one house one house is all the way up in Polito Bay I would show you my cars there but they're just cars that I rarely use and I don't feel like driving all the way up there so yeah um, but I'm going to be showing off my two garages at the uh, Eclipse Towers, apartment 31 and 3. Um, and yeah, we're just going to do a tour of my garage. So first we have the Windsor, Enos Windsor. Pretty good car, I like it. Um, I mainly got it just for the, the decal, but because it looks nice in decal. There's also other decal, but this one I like the most. Next we have the D-Class Stallion. And this is a nice little classic car. I like to have some some classic cars in my uh, garage. I haven't customized it yet. Um, I haven't got the chance to. Um, but it's a really good car. I love it. Um, it kind of reminds me of GTA 3. Like these, they had a lot of these cars back in GTA 3. So it's a nice little throwback, you know, remembering GTA 3. Next up, we have the Dubashi JB700. I rarely, I've barely customized this. Um, as you can see, I got the cool color on it and everything, but it's an okay car. I just got it just because it looks like, I don't know, it looks like an old school, like, I don't know, it's really nice. I just, I like classic cars. Um, and next we have the BF Bifta. This is just a really fun car to drive around in. Um, yeah, it's a super nice car to drive around in. It's pretty fun. And, um, I recommend you get this car if you want to have a nice time just drifting around off-road or something. Yeah, um, and then we have the uh, Entity XF. This is a really good car right here. Um, I think it's probably the fastest or the second fastest behind. I don't know, because I don't believe that is the fastest just for the acceleration purpose. But um, yeah, the Entity is a really good car. It's really nice. I love the uh, the details or the features they have on it. Have the nice looks like they're speakers, but I guess they're just uh, the back engine. So yeah, it's a really nice car, really nice car, it's super fast. Next up we have the Karen Fumo, I'm pretty sure everyone has this. It's a great car, super fast, um, and it's armored, you know, you, you can't really, I think you can only shoot someone or kill someone with a shotgun or if you blow up the car. So it's really nice, it's armored, you know, what else could you want? Next up we have the Benefactor Shafter. I love this car, I got it in gold, it has the like Mercedes Benz type look. I got it for that luxurious look. I made it gold and red, and it looks super nice in those colors. So, yeah. Next up, we have the uh, Pegasi Monroe. It's a nice car. It's like an old school Lamborghini. I think it's supposed to be the Lamborghini Mura. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but I think that's what it's supposed to be. If not, then I don't know because I'm not an expert on cars. But yeah, it's a really nice car. Um, yeah, it's fun to nice to cruise around in. Um, next up we have, this is one of my favorites right here, it's the F HVY Insurgent. You get it from the Humane Library Heist. Um, it's really nice, it's armored, but the thing that kind of um, ticks me off is that the windows aren't uh, bulletproof, so anyone could just shoot you, but, you know, other than that, it takes like three missiles, RPG missiles, to take this thing down, and that's what I love about this car, is it's, it's phenomenal. It's It has great handling, it's it's pretty fast, it's, it's pretty fast. It's, Probably not as fast as the Karuma, but it has the same acceleration. Uh, acceleration is maxed out. Um, the braking is bad, but if you put race brakes on it, it's nice. The traction, which I think is the handling. The handling is super good. It's actually one of the probably the best cars I've used when handling for handling. And yeah, I'm gonna go in and uh, uh, do a tour of my other uh, garage. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. <coughs> Apartment 31. I might do a video on like some of the outfits I have, some cool outfits that you guys could um, try out, maybe for different themes or some. So yeah, first off we got the uh, what was that Nagasaki Carbon RS, and this is I don't know if this is the fastest motorcycle, but it's super fast. The top speed is like 190 miles per hour, so it's super fast. Um, when you max it out the like turbo great acceleration it's great it's a great motorcycle probably one of my favorites i chill i well i had the baby 801 but i i got rid of that and got this 
Next up we have the Pegasian Furnace. This is just like a really popular car. I remember it from GTA 4, back in GTA 4. This is like the fastest car. And it's a super nice car. Lamborghini look. And it's super nice. I love this car. Next up we have the Pegasi Zentorno, which is one of my favorite cars that I've ever driven in the in Grand Theft Auto. The whole all of the Grand Theft Auto. It's super nice. I love the look to it. It has a nice little futuristic look. And it's great. Um, as you can see, it's pr it's super fast. Obviously, I think the top speed is 230 miles per hour or something like that. Some in the two, two, 200, uh, low 200, and it's it's pretty fast. Next up, we have the Pegasi Osiris, which is the newest, or, or not the newest, but one of the new uh, additions to my garage, and also the game which they added in Ill Gotten Gains Part One, I believe. And this car is super fast. It goes 230 miles per hour, and it, it's a it's a really nice car. It's got the you know suicide doors or whatever you want to call them. Next up, we have this cla you know it's classic the Adder. Um, great car. I haven't got a chance to customize this customize this yet because um, I just got it. Well, I had it and then I sold it and then I got it back. I just did like a bunch of heists. Um, and yeah, great car. And then we have the Hijack Chameleon. This is a great car. I love the look, especially if you have it in the Midnight Purple. It looks super nice. Um, it's a great car. It was one of the DLC cars that you weren't able to get, but on, uh, I guess they, you were able to get, like, you know, the Chameleon Hot Knife, the Carbon, so, yeah. Next up, we have the, uh, Grady Turismo R. And this is a really nice car. Super nice car. I love it. It reminds me of the, the Pro Gen T20 right next to it. it has a, like, little look that goes around that goes with it and it's a great car so yeah next up we have the pro gen t20 which is one of my favorites if not my favorite car they drive around in this game it's super fast um and it's just it's so nice looking i, I just love it and yeah that's uh i think it's supposed to be the mclaren if i'm not mistaken in real life you know so yeah it's a really nice car um and yeah next up we have another classic it's the vapid chino this is a really nice car um, I don't know about the color, the main color, I just, I feel like, I customized that, I made it blue, but I feel like a darker color, maybe like a silver, or black, or gray, would go good with it. So, yeah. And then, then last, we have the Vapid Bullet, which is a super nice car. I love this car. This was also in GTA 4, I believe. And it's a really nice car. I think it's supposed to be the Ford GT, if I'm not mistaken. It's a really nice car. And, um, yeah, that was a tour of my garage. Um, I would go to Polito Bay, but, um... I don't have like an Elgato to like edit it and I don't have I don't have I don't want to really drive up there it's just too time consuming but Polito Bay houses are super nice They're nice and peaceful you don't have to worry about getting blasted every time you spawn so yeah and um I hope you guys enjoyed the video tour of my garage um and peace see you guys later